Terence Crawford, with his intense gaze, threw down the gauntlet at Gervonta Tank Davis in a moment filled with pure fireworks. Crawford wasted no time, expressing his desire to face Davis in the ring while also demanding Devin Haney's presence. He's been saying that he wants, he wants you, things like that. Does that stuff just sound crazy or just like I'm supposed to be called out? You know, uh, you know when you look at all the, the great fighters, they was getting called out by everybody from different weight classes. So it's nothing, you know, that I'm not surprised about. A tank would be something that, you know, he said he'll, he'll you know, he'll touch your chin and... Man, everybody say, you know, what they do, you know, but Tank is in his weight class for a reason, and I don't see him come up to 147 to uh, face me no time, so. In a press conference that resembled a heavyweight title bout itself, Crawford locked eyes with Davis and delivered a direct challenge. He addressed Davis, stating, Tank, you've talked a big game, but I'm done with the talk. No more beating around the bush. I want you in the ring, and I want Haney there, too. The challenge hung in the air, creating an electric atmosphere. Davis, known for his aggressive style, met Crawford's intense stare. The room crackled with excitement as fans and the media eagerly awaited Davis's response to Crawford's straightforward callout. The stage was set for a potential blockbuster matchup, leaving the boxing world on the edge of its collective seat. Since Terence Bud Crawford's dominant victory over Errol Spence Jr. a few weeks ago, He's been strategically maneuvering across the entire boxing landscape as if he's playing a high-stakes game of chess. He's akin to the Pied Piper, except instead of calling rats, he's calling out every top fighter within a 20-pound range of his weight class. But Crawford's teasing doesn't end there. He's even entertained the idea of facing Canelo Alvarez at a catchweight. Let's not overlook the verbal sparring with Jermal Charlo during the Spence fight. Now. Crawford seems to have a new target firmly within his sights, Gervonta Tank Davis. In a recent podcast interview, Crawford dismisses the notion of Davis being a true champion. He points out that Devin Haney holds all the belts at 135 pounds, making him the undisputed champion. However, he acknowledges that Davis is undoubtedly a major attraction in the sport. Weight classes exist for a reason, and Crawford throws down the gauntlet, challenging Davis to step up and face the big league fighters. He expresses his readiness to welcome Davis into that echelon of competition. Crawford confidently asserts the technical correctness of his statement. Devin Haney currently holds a monopoly on the lightweight titles, appearing to play a strategic game of chess with the championship belts and emerging as the victor. However, there's a catch to the potential showdown with Davis. Crawford emphasizes his commitment to staying at 147 pounds for a fight with Davis. On the flip side, Davis would need to make a significant weight leap for this matchup, requiring an additional 12 pounds of muscle. This isn't an easy task. Davis has only fought once at his heaviest weight of 140 pounds, and stepping up to 147 presents a substantial challenge. While Davis might not be overly thrilled about this prospect in the realm of boxing, if the financial incentive is right, anything can happen. Despite this, Crawford departs from Devin Haney's recent performance with a hint of concern lingering in his thoughts. In a gripping showdown, the 20-year-old prodigy Devin Haney faced off against the seasoned Vasily Lomachenko in a bout that had spectators at the edge of their seats. Haney skillfully navigated through 12 highly competitive rounds against the three-division title holder. However, a surprising twist emerged in the aftermath. The judges' scorecards raised eyebrows worldwide within the sporting community. Many believed Lomachenko deserved the victory, sparking suspicions that reverberated across the globe. Even Terence Crawford, the WBO welterweight titleist, found himself puzzled by one judge's scoring. I was taken aback by the scorecards, Crawford admitted. The decision left Crawford scratching his head, trying to comprehend why the judges favored Haney in their scoring. I don't know, he pondered. Maybe it was the body shots he was throwing. And just like that, Crawford's perception of Haney underwent a shift. Now there's a sense of uncertainty regarding Haney's prospects against a powerhouse like Gervonta Tank Davis. They often say styles make fights and Terence Crawford is beginning to reconsider the dynamics at play. Devin Haney, never one to back down from a challenge, recently delivered some bold statements aimed at Davis. The dream, 
clinched the WBC Super Lightweight Championship in a stunning victory over Regis Progres. Haney wasted no time and swiftly invited Davis, the WBA lightweight champion, to a showdown at 140 pounds. This invitation represents a significant power move considering the stakes involved. Previously, Haney held the status of undisputed lightweight champion. But after the pro gray bout, he was stripped of the WBC title and voluntarily vacated the WBA, IBF, and WBO titles. Here's where things get intriguing. If Davis accepts Haney's challenge, the 130-pound champion could potentially risk losing his title in this higher weight class, adding a spicy element to the scenario. Haney was direct in his call-out of Davis, confidently stating, Tank is scared to death of me. He highlighted Davis's tendency to show interest in fighting only when Haney already has an upcoming bout scheduled. But now, Haney is unoccupied and eager to step into the ring, urging Davis to accept the challenge. Both Haney and Davis possess unblemished records and stand as two of boxing's most promising rising stars. A potential clash between them would undeniably be an authentic showdown, eagerly awaited by enthusiasts. However, the million-dollar question looms. Will Davis embrace the challenge? Rumors circulating within boxing circles suggest Davis is contemplating the proposition. Some insiders indicate that he might be apprehensive about moving up in weight to confront a powerhouse like Crawford. Others whisper about his reluctance to risk his 130-pound title against Haney. Haney, yes, you heard correctly. There's an enticing rumor circulating about Davis possibly contemplating the challenge, but he's carefully considering the pros and cons. The boxing community is abuzz with speculations and viewpoints. Will Davis seize the opportunity to face both Crawford and Haney, or will he opt for safety, staying within his comfort zone? Only time will reveal the decision. As the drama unfolds, we're all here, seated ringside, popcorn in hand, eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this blockbuster storyline. Fight fans, fasten your seatbelts because this could evolve into the clash of titans we've all been yearning for. But hold on, there's an intriguing twist to this narrative. Amidst this brewing storm, rumors are swirling about potential side bets between the fighters. Yes, you heard it correctly. Sources close to the boxing scene suggest that Terence Crawford might be open to putting something significant on the line to sweeten the deal. This isn't your run-of-the-mill boxing match, it's evolving into a high-stakes poker game where pride and possessions hang in the balance. Terence Crawford might put up a flashy sports car, a portion of his fight purse, or even the rights to an epic walkout song. It's a contest beyond the ordinary. Meanwhile, what about Devin Haney? Rumors are circulating that Haney, known for his readiness to take on challenges, might be contemplating an unexpected twist. Whispers suggest he's considering adding a challenge within a challenge. Imagine this, a showdown between trainers. Yes, you heard it right. It's not solely about the fighters. It could be a face-off between Haney's camp and Crawford's camp. A battle of intellect, strategies, and perhaps a touch of mind games for good measure. This adds an extra layer of intrigue to an already captivating storyline. Meanwhile, Gervonta Davis, caught in the whirlwind of events, has surprisingly remained tight-lipped about the entire situation. However, here's the twist. Sources close to Davis hint that his silence might be a strategic maneuver. Could he be quietly strategizing his response, biding his time for the perfect moment to unveil a game-changing revelation? With the enigmatic Davis, one never knows. He operates like a silent assassin, poised to strike when least expected. In the world of boxing, where mental tactics can be as potent as physical blows, the art of mind games holds immense significance. As we delve further into this saga, it's crucial to recognize the potential ripple effect this silence may create. It's creating ripples across the entire boxing landscape, captivating the attention of fighters in and around the lightweight division who are closely observing its potential impact on their own careers. Would a victory for Crawford solidify his standing as the pound-for-pound -pound king? Could a successful stand by Davis elevate him to legendary status? And what about Haney, the young talent yearning for recognition? Could this be his breakthrough moment? 
These lingering questions swirl in the minds of fighters, promoters, and fans alike, placing the boxing community on high alert. Everyone seems to have an opinion, from esteemed trainers sharing their insights to passionate fans making bold predictions on social media. It's a frenetic chorus of voices vying for attention. However, amidst all the tumult and thrill, there's an undeniable truth. We are witnessing the birth of a modern-day boxing epic. It transcends mere punches thrown inside the ring. It's about the narratives woven outside it. The personal rivalries, unexpected alliances, and untold stories that add intricate layers to the fabric of the sport. So, as we eagerly anticipate the unfolding of the next chapter, let's relish this moment in boxing history. Whether you pledge allegiance to Team Crawford, Team Davis, or Team Haney, one thing remains certain. We're all integral parts of this spectacle. We're immersed in the drama and the exhilaration that encapsulates the essence of the sweet science. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.